we'll see how because my the director has to let you in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it opened it up. It says focus on the astronomy or astrophotography. All right, good. You're in. All right, cool. Cool. See you in a minute. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> She may be. She should. There she is. Alright, cool. Hmm, mercy. God, that light's bright. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do 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 no 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 That's fine, I'll take the picture on it. What's wrong with the camera? Oh, uh, I'm not worried about it. No. I know you are. Mm. I don't know. I don't hear her, so Are you there? <laughs> Microphone's on. I don't need that one. Oh, I can't hear you, Lydia. Not entirely sure. Oh, it's unmute. It's muted. On that one. Hang on, let me do. Ah. Can you hear me? Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Can you hear me? Lydia. 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 I know that. That's why I'm just constantly telling her Lydia. Or saying Lydia. Can you hear me, Lydia? Uh-oh. That's okay. Thank you. Do, do, do. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you not hear me? Can you or can you not? Can you not hear me? Can you not hear me? Microphone. Can you hear me now, Lydia? Do, 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 do. You good. What's up, David? Hey, Lucy.
I can only hear Tyler. Hey, Laryl, Harold, appreciate that. Um, what the crap? Hmm. I heard you before it closed out. Is she still in? Paul? Uh, Hello. Hey. Hey. So I can hear you, but now I can't hear you. Does that make sense? Can you hear? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I can't hear her. Can you hear me now? Instead of on the phone? Yes. Through the headset? Through my headset, yeah. Okay. Can you I hear me at you... all? I can hear you too. Okay, now we gotta figure out now we gotta figure out why I can't hear you through the computer. Do you have something muted by chance? No. In, in the local computer, the local computer Tyler? Tyler? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's go, to go to the volume. volume. No, mine's fine. Check your settings real quick, uh, Lydia. And um, All right, she can hear us. Yeah, I can hear you guys just fine through my headset. Yeah, but I can't hear her at all, Paul, through the headset. <clears throat> like I can you. She is quiet. She is quiet. Yeah, but I mean, see if you can turn your volume up on your speaker, Lydia, just for craps and giggles. Your microphone. On my speaker, on my headset. Uh, yeah, if you go into VMAX, like if you just hover over the screen, you'll see a cog. It says open settings. <clears throat> and see what the, the microphone's connected to. Hang on. Hang on. Try, it now. Try it now. Try it now, Lydia. Or just talk. Can you hear? Like, I don't see like a little cog or anything on my end. Um, got you got an iPhone, don't you? All the way up. You have an iPhone, Lydia? Hmm? I'm on my computer. Oh, you're on computer. I can, I I'm, can drive I can it. Drive Hang it. on a second. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Lydia, can you talk for me? Yep. I can talk. I wonder why it's so quiet. So if you go, if you're in VMix, like the the tab vmix where you see focus on astrophotography lydia just move your mouse and you should see in the middle of the screen kind of towards the bottom underneath the timer you should see a phone mute unmute camera camera or microphone and all that stuff does that come up or no um so i see a phone a camera a microphone what looks like a box yep something. click on the gear, and on the gear. Chat. That's it. click on you don't have the gear under, no. under open settings? That's odd. Uh -uh. Uh, disconnect and reconnect. Can you disconnect and reconnect, please? She's doing it. Minute 30. <clears throat> Hello. Hang on, go again, Lydia. I still can't hear her, Paul. So, yeah, I, it's her microphone's not working or something. Hmm. Um, it from my headset to my webcam. Can you see okay? 
I can hear you when I'm on the phone, but as far as coming through the chat, no, I or from the. Unfortunately. Um, hmm. I think. Ooh, of course, we got a minute. God dang it! <laughs> I love this stuff. I'm surprised you don't have. See, I'm checking the settings in my computer. Okay. Yeah, I mean it looks fine. Everything's set too. <clears throat> so we got some people saying that you're very faint, but you're but it's there. That's so weird. Yep. Um, I wonder if I can connect a different headset. Hold on. Okay. Coming up, Tyler. You can't pause it? No. Of course, can, but we're not going to. They're already listening to us anyway. But can they hear me? Yes. That's the key. Yes. Okay. You're fine. <coughs> All right. Tyler. Hey, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties with Lydia. As um, you've heard. As you've heard. I mean, yeah. everybody can hear it, unfortunately. So we are just going to wait until we can get that situated. So we'll talk a minute uh, and give a little <clears throat> introduction about what Lydia does. Um, you know, because we've had we've had a lot of the same, same good old faces, same thing. I kind of wanted to break up a little bit of the monotony. Um, Lydia is part of a, a all girls group um, called Stella. Uh, they're called We Are Stella or We Dot R Dot Stella. That's S T E L A. Um, she is one of the team leaders in a. It's my phone. I'm trying to make sure that A, we can hear. Um, so it's We Are Stella, and she's part of – she's a team leader and a social media manager. It's an all it's an all females astrophotography group, and I was wanting to get her on to, A, mainly just talk about how she started out in the astrophotography world um, and see, you know, what trials and tribulations that she's faced as a beginner because I'm not sure how many how many years she's been doing it. I think it's less than six months. Uh, to be honest, kind of go over her equipment, you know, what has she found that's hard? Um, what is she, you know, what has she succeeded at the most of and, and whatnot. Tyler's the loudest, Paul second and Lydia's faint. So that's kind of the feedback that we're getting right now. Um, but so she's Dag on screen. Hi. But she is doing? on screen. She can say, hi, how you doing? Um, but I can't hear this is going to be a good episode today. This is going to be amazing. Oh, goody. This is going to be hard. This this is why I had the phone on so I could hear her talk. That way I can communicate with her that way, but I had, it's going to cause a bad echo. Well, it's, no one can hear her now. Yeah. So oh, it's not broadcasting. Goodness. This, how is my sound? <laughs> Back at Yours your sound's fine. always fine. Mine's fine. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Can Paul, Paul, can you hear? Because I can't hear I can't anything. hear it yet. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. Uh, she's yeah. she's so, got some kind of auto gain going on, and it's not working. She's got something, but we're going to figure it out. It's what we do here. We troubleshoot. We figure out what's going on. Um, but Lydia, <clears throat> she, I believe, if I remember correctly, she didn't start out with much of anything. Um, and the group, We Are Stella, uh, had a... You know, I, I, I believe it was a contest. It was either a contest or the president reached out to me and wanted to see what we can do or what I could do to help her get started. Um, so me and uh, the president's name, uh, there's actually two of them, a co-founder uh, is Diana Herber. Um, 
reached out to me asking what would be a good starting point for an astrophotographer. And if anybody doesn't know Diana, uh, who works at Starzona, she's the co-founder of We Are Stella. Um, she's an amazing astrophotographer who still uses DSLRs mainly. Um, she's kind of migrating over to dedicated cool cameras, which she's been very well known for uh, DSLR work. Um, she reached out to me just asking what kind of mount would be good. And you, everybody knows that I preach a, a good steady foundation in your, your golden. Um, I suggested a uh, Exos 2 uh, with PMC 8, uh, which is a flagship for Explore Scientific. My light went out. Dagnabbit. Why? I don't, I, I don't know. It just maybe went out. It's fine. The, sh the, the nasty, the rays will come back and my, my skin will glow with all sorts of with brilliance. Glow, and we may have turned off the circuit. That's fine. It is what it is. There ain't nothing we can do about it right now. Um, no, it's fine. It's off. And we got we got a bunch of stuff going on around here. <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff going. Yeah, got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, dang it! Dang it! This was going to be a good episode. <clears throat> Fiddle sticks. It's just not working for me. We're getting, everything's going against me. It's not cool. Um, so we've set her up. <clears throat> Turn about. That's fair play. <laughs> we've set her up with an Exos 2 with PMC-8. She's loved the mount. I cannot remember the first scope she has, but I know she just recently um, picked up a used N208 um, from somebody. I'm not sure who that was. Um, she hasn't had a chance to use it yet, uh, but I've been trying to give her the rundown on how to – you know, the do's and the don'ts with reflectors, um, collimation, she's pretty much got a knack for. Uh, shouldn't have an issue. I cannot remember her first scope, though. That's the downfall. If you can see her in the background, she's concentrating, trying to figure out what's going on with the audio. And I don't know if she can even hear me, to be honest. Um, I'm waiting for her to give me the, a thumbs up or something. Uh, I can. He she can hear me, but I can't hear her. Um, so, dag nebit, dag nebit. as loud as I can. Yeah, Pekka's always screaming as loud as he can. That's what Pekka does. That's so why we like Pekka. Pekka's, Pekka's one of the only few. Um, your shadow makes you look dramatic. Oh, thanks, Lucy. I appreciate that. So this is not how this episode was supposed to go. We were wanting to get more in-depth of what uh, Stella is as a group. Um, <laughs> because I'm curious, because it's, it's an all-females group. I mean, there's not that many around in the astrophotography community. And if there is, I want to get them on board, get them here, get them in front of, I mean, I hate to say get them in front of the cameras. Yes. Here's how we fix it. Just call her. Yep. And uh, we'll just do like radio. Radio. Love it. Calling her now. Calling her right now. Let me try it on my phone. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it Calling. next to your microphone. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't cause a bad feedback. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Sweet. Cell phone always works. It's the best alternative. It's the cell phone. Well, I was going to try to join on my phone to see if maybe that'll work better. Maybe. Try it real quick, and we'll go from there. Just try it real quick. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So we're, we're going to get there. I promise we're going to get there. She's going to try it on her phone, as you heard. Um, Little minor difficulties. God, I love technology. There Always is. changes. Yes. Hey. Can you hear me and can you see me now? Like I can hear you and see you. Turn down the volume a little bit because holy no, game. I, I, I've got it turned up. Oh, you had it high? Okay, never mind. Uh, never mind, Lydia. Okay. I was <laughs> so this is Lydia. She does have a voice. I knew she did. Um, so Lydia, I, mean, I didn't know if you, you hear me at all, Lydia. Let me get to my oh, audio now. here and turn her down. There we go. Getting better. We still good? Perfect. I like how you're wearing a Starzona shirt. I don't know where you would have got that from. I don't know where you got the Starzona shirt. We could talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> look, see, folks, I knew she had a voice. She's. We've talked before. I'm glad everything is, is up and running now. Um, good old cell phones always do the trick. So, Lydia, did you hear me at all during that whole spiel of who you are, what kind of equipment you use? How much um, of it what... did he get completely wrong? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I have 
a Radian Raptor. That's my telescope, my wide field that, telescope that, that I use. Yeah. Yep. I was, that was like, the other one. <laughs> yeah. I could not remember. And, I knew you had another one, but I could not remember which one it actually was. And that's, that yeah. Was drawing and me like, before I got my mount, I was just using my Raptor and mm -hmm. my uh, Star Tracker, basically. So Star my. Trek. That was the other one that you had. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm old. I can't remember things. You got to forgive me. <laughs> um, so I talked a little bit. Uh, I know you probably heard me of We Are Stella. I know you're a your social media manager for that particular group. But first, I want to get more. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about them or the group mm -hmm. itself. But I want to know more about you. And I know the audience wants to know about you. Um, just you and me talking here. Don't even, the audience isn't. I mean, they're here, but they're not here. So it's just you and me. You just know, draw attention to it, to Eiler. Why, why do you want, why did you want to be an astrophotographer? You know, what draw, what drew you towards it? Um, you know, just kind of give us some little feedback about you and why you got started. That's basically it. So, so basically, um, my whole thing started when I was living in Texas. Uh, I went mm -hmm. to the Perot Museum in Dallas and yep. they have like a whole section for like space. So I went there and I was like wandering around and I saw like a photo that they had of the Carina Nebula and I had never seen that before. So <laughs> I took a picture of it and I saved it. So I was like, that looks super awesome. And yep. then I moved to Utah and I was considering, I was like, that'd be cool to like have a telescope, you know? And yeah. I had posted it on my personal Facebook and then one of my, or my cousin's wife, rest in peace, but she uh, told me that I could rent a telescope from our local library. So that's what I did. Yeah. And I went to my friend's house and we pointed it at the moon and that basically was it for me. I was like, that's it in like real time. So <laughs> do you, it like do you blew remember me what away. telescope it was? Do you remember what telescope it was that you rented from the library by chance? Yeah, it was one of those little Orion tabletop ones. Like the, I think oh, it was like the two the one. Yeah, yeah. The little reflector, reflectors. Um, yeah. So you kind of had the same experience that I had. Is um, my oldest child had a birthday. He wanted the telescope because he was fascinated with looking at stuff. Um, and I got him a little Celestron small 70 millimeter. He never used mm -hmm. it eventually. Um, so I used it and it just got me hooked. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of know that feeling of that, that, that excitement that you're, you're looking at something that you've always wanted to look at, but you've mm -hmm. never had a chance, but now you're even given that opportunity and it's, it's invigorating. It's really, it takes your, it takes your breath away in a sense as well. Um, yeah. so yeah, that's. So go a little bit, if you could go in a little bit more. Um, so you were in Texas, you went to a museum. I wish we could see the Carina Nebula. That would be nice. Yeah, um, I know. <laughs> we have to go to the south, dang nebbit. Um, but I hear Chile right now is pretty nice to go shoot at in the, this area or to shoot that nebula. Um, so you got that. You got a Radian Raptor. Uh, or what made you go well, towards so, more so light basically. Field? So basically, first off, like I decided I wanted to get a telescope and I, my sister's mm -hmm. friend was selling their telescope, their uh, Orion yep. XT6, uh, I believe is what it is. So it's like the six inch dob. Yeah. So yep, yep. I ended up buying that from them and I was just looking at the moon visually basically. And then I kind of wanted to look to see like if there was a way I could take a photo of what I'm looking at. So I ended up falling into like one of OPT's like live streams that they used to have like on Instagram yeah. where they would talk about astrophotography. Yeah. 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 And so I wanted to, they were talking about the Milky Way and I was, and I had never seen the Milky Way before. That was never mm -hmm. seen it. So I got in touch with, uh, with Mac Murdoch and he oh, was yeah. telling me Mac how Murdoch, to, yeah how to image the Milky Way. So I bought a DSLR, went out to the mm. uh, Salt Flats here in Utah, which is like a Bortle 2, and took my first Milky Way shot, basically. Nice. And how'd it turn out? Yeah. It was amazing. Like, it's it's on my Instagram. It's like the one of my first pictures that I posted. Nice. But, nice. Yeah. We'll have to give that a plug here in a minute, for sure. 
So what? So you got your first shot of the Milky Way. Mm-hmm. You're an awestruck. You're like, oh my God, what else is out there? Holy manoli. Let's see what else yeah. we can do. What made you want to go from uh, a DSLR, which is a great beginner camera? It really is. What did you end up using for that particular shot? Do you remember the exposure count or exposure yeah. setting, ISO, or any of that? So I just used um, my stock DSLR. I used. Yep. Uh, the Rokinon 14 millimeter Perfect. with at f2.8, and I believe nice. my ISO at 1600, I think. Well, at a board and, two, yeah, 800 to 16, yeah, it's about right. Yeah, I didn't require much, <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> no, I. God, no. <laughs> so I did that, and then I was kind of just wondering, I was like, I mean, what else could I get, you know? And I was mm-hmm. definitely looking at all of that stuff, and then I actually watched an OPT Twitch stream and Diana was on there and I was like, Oh, mm-hmm. so like, I followed her on Instagram and then me and her started talking and then we fell into Stella yeah. basically. She invited me to join it and yeah. And so the rest is history. I ended up getting like a star tracker, which I was using my, my, uh, my kit lenses for. So like mm-hmm. my 70 to 300 on my, yeah. uh, Nikon. And then I ended up getting the Raptor a little later on for the wide field stuff. Yeah, the Raptor is nice. It's a real nice little scope, especially for beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want that wide field stuff, it's really, really good. Um, so are you, are you still using the DSLR at this point when you got the, the Radian Raptor? Or did you did you migrate towards dedicated school cameras? You know, what, what yeah, made you so- want to take the, the more bigger step? So I was still using a DSLR for a while there. So I was still just yeah. using that. And uh, I was playing around with filters and whatnot to see what I could get. Mm-hmm. And I basically I had everything stacked up like on my tracker. So like my DSLR, I had my guiding set up on there, uh, yeah. my Raptor. So I'm pretty sure my, my tracker was like over, like Loaded. close to the weight limit, you know? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, uh, I was talking to somebody and they donated a Altair, I believe it was the 294 uh, okay. Astro yeah. camera, the cooled one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They donated that mm-hmm. to me, so I was using that for a little bit. And then I ended up getting the mount and the ZWO 6200, or not 62, 2600. So I was using that. Oh, holy moly. I know. I was like, wait, that's not the right one. Moly, and then I got the ASI Air. And so basically mm-hmm. everything will just, you know, take in everything. Like I don't have to like be outside all the time. Cause I was during those times yeah. before I got the ASI Air, I was outside in like 20 degree weather, 30 degree weather. Like I was outside, I'm, like in it basically. <laughs> Me too. Like I love the cold too. But, like, it's not cool when your laptop starts to get cold. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> like, trying to get that. That is true. Up, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is. It. So how. Do you, do you have a social media page or anything yes, for your does. photography? I do. It's uh, Lidstra Photos. Spell that for me. So it's L-Y-D-C-H-A. No, L-Y-D-S-C-H-A and then photos. L-Y-D-S? Yes. And then it's L Y D S. Then what? Photos. Photos. This is dot com. So in the background is the ominous yeah, voice right. of our director. Just in case. It's on curious. Instagram. Oh, it's on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then just I, just got, I just got this beauty today. Which I'm pretty stoked Uh-oh. for. Can't see. I'm gonna, I gotta wait for the delay. Gotta wait for the delay. Or you could. Oh, you got the EAF. Yeah, I know. I can bring up the live stream. Why would I want to do that though? <laughs> um, logic. Why would I want to do that? Yeah, the EAF is nice. It, it yeah. really, it definitely changes the game tremendously. Um, yeah. Play so with that. Sisters astronomy. Go ahead. What was that? Oh, I was saying that Three Sisters Astronomy said that wish we had seasons in Arizona. It's just hot. We can move. 
there's always a, there's always a chance to move and i believe during the winter it gets a little a little milder in temperature because i know you guys are going through a monsoon season at the moment um but yeah the 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 eafs that zwo produce are amazing uh they're great uh, you're going to put that – which scope are you going to put that on? Because I know you got two. We haven't discussed the other one yet. Um, but which yeah. one are you going to put that on? Um, so I know I can fit it on my Raptor. So yeah, I'll, I'll, You can fit it on the other one too. Huh? Yeah. You can fit it on so, the 208 well, too. I was going to say I might try that one first just to test it out and everything because I with the 208, um, there's yeah. – I want to – research on it so i can make sure i know what i'm doing with the newtonian you know because it's different than right, a refractor so give me a call give me a call and get <laughs> yeah i had to write i had to write the document for cwo to on all our focusers so i know how to put oh. them on yeah um yeah i mean if so it's gonna fit <laughs> yeah it, it'll fit it, it takes a little bit of engineering but it'll fit it's not hard um so you got a an a an N208. And what do you plan on doing with the N208? Um, so I want to as... get, I definitely want to dabble in galaxies a little more. And then yeah. I want to, or like nebula that I can't really get with my wide field. Basically. Like M16, let's see, yeah. M16 would look good in a 208. Nebula. That's the goal. <laughs> I want to yeah, get the bubble. The, nebula? the bubble. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. So, what kind of mount are you putting all this equipment on? Uh, I'm using the EXOS2 with the PMC. Mm -hmm. So, called oh, the PMC8 system? Yeah. I've how, been using. How that. is. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, like, Go it's ahead. awesome, like, being able to use, like, the Go To, you know, because that was, like, my mm -hmm. biggest struggle with my tracker was, like, taking the time to try to find targets with my tracker, yeah. like manually. So, oh, and it yeah. took yeah. like to do that. So having a go-to is like a godsend basically. <laughs> How, so you use the ASI air with the PMC eight system. How are you finding the, the integration between two different products? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Just in case viewers are wondering if, if, if it's possible. I mean, obviously it's possible, but I mean, how did you find the integration to pour those two? It's super smooth. Like, there's like a an additional cord that you have to get though for like the mm -hmm. PMC eight to to the ASI Air. But other than that, mm -hmm. it's super smooth. Like, it works oh, with it just cool. fine. It finds that the mount, and all you have to do is just connect it. And yeah, like it's it's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the ASI is great. It does guiding, it does plate solving, imaging. Mm -hmm. It's got a planetary in it now. Um, it's I don't know if it's got framing in mosaic, but it's got um, oh plans. I call it. I mean, I mm -hmm. think it's called plans where you can set up a schedule or whatever you're wanting to shoot. Um, it's sweet. Uh, so I know you also do another group where you're the social media manager um, for a group called We Are Stella. Um, yep. from what my research has shown me and that I've done is obviously it's an all females group. It's all astrophotographers from around the world. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's females and non-binary basically. So we will just yeah, basically, so, um, it is people from around the world. Like we've got people in India, here in the U S uh, England, Australia, like, they're really everywhere. And so everywhere. it's really That's awesome good. to be able to like, connect with them in different uh, countries. So what is what is the main purpose of the group? Uh, are you guys just astrophotographers banding together uh, just to do it or just be friends? You know, what's, what's the goal? What's the end goal? If there is an end goal, what's the purpose of We Are Stella? Um, and so the whole purpose before was... Uh, you know, with astrophotography being such a male-dominated uh, hobby, there wasn't a whole yep. lot of like, women or whatnot in it. So what mm -hmm. we're trying to do is just basically have a whole group for for women or non-binary people to be in it, basically. So okay. we help each other 
out with any processing if anybody has any questions about equipment like we're there for each other like we just try to make it uh i don't want to say like a sister well maybe like a sisterhood but it's more you know like just everybody will, you know traveling pants it's all yeah. it's just yeah. sister yeah we, we all wear our own pants but yeah <laughs> oh man uh because that's that's kind of what drew me to it is or to you guys as a group um not i mean me and me and lydia have talked before but you know uh, it to find that there's a all-females group that's dedicated as astrophotographers or just visual i mean do you guys have visual mm -hmm. astronomers in the group as well um some of us do visuals like uh for mine uh what i plan on doing because i'm going to be doing i'm probably going to do like a local star party with uh, people yeah. here in Utah is my plan is to do like the try like my Newtonian out for the visuals as well mm -hmm. like, the local mm -hmm. the local people that want to actually just look into to everything but yeah a lot of us do both basically sorry I'm, I'm texting Paul to show the Instagram page of we are Stella because um, honestly it, it needs to be out there, in my opinion. Um, I know you guys are you, you, you kind of wanting to be the quiet bunch, but honestly, there's a lot of females out there that may not know about y'all. And yeah. you know, we got to find you guys a driving force. And maybe we're it, maybe we're not it. And who knows? But the more people that know about Stella, the more information we can give about Stella then we can, you know, get more females involved in just the yeah. astronomy community, uh, whether it be science, astrophotography, visual, STEM stuff, doesn't matter. I mean, that's what I'm assuming you guys are wanting to strive for is not, I mean, only astrophotography, but just more of a science-related type-esque thing. Yeah. But even though yeah, you guys exactly. started in astrophotography, um, and that's, so, <clears throat> yeah. go ahead. We just want to have, like, um, a community or like a place for women and non-binary to go to when they need it, basically. So we understand like pro mm -hmm. still not going to be something that people might stay at forever. And that's fine. Yeah. You know, as long as we're able to help you, Stella will always be there. Basically. We're always going to yeah. have Stella there. We're always going to be available to help everybody. Like, even if you just have questions on, like, how to take a photo of the moon or something like that, like, yeah. any one of us can help out with that. Like, that's Paul, that's been bring, like if, my. Family. That's been your that's been your whole message for anybody in Stella. Basically. Yeah, for me, me personally, like, it took me a really long time to have like an Instagram account for what I'm doing. Uh, just yeah. because I'm very introverted, I was like, I don't really, the attention isn't like the biggest priority for me, but mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, it's really just me wanting to encourage people to just look up, really, you know. There it is. There, we found, we found the page. We found the page. Yay. So, we are Stella. It's got 2,000 followers, which is impressive, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so, folks, if just supporting the astrophotography community, uh, females, non-binary, whatever. I mean, we, we're all just a big giant community. Go follow them. You know, we dot R dot Stella on Instagram. Um, there are a bunch of great, I've met just a few of them, which I know there's a bunch more. Um, I hope to meet every single one of them. I hope I can get every one of them on the show, but I know with time constraints and different schedules, it's, it's going to be hard. Um, but go give them a follow. You know, they're, they're a great group of young ladies, uh, young women, non-binary, <laughs> which, yeah. whichever. I'll get the lingo eventually. Um, they're amazing, and they were here to help. I mean, it is – I mean, I didn't want to say it, so I'm glad Lydia did. It is a, a – it's, it's a heavily male-dominated area. Um, <laughs> there are some – people that are mean there's some people that just don't want to help and you know it, it's hard to find those individuals that want to help because you know all the information's on the internet some people will literally yeah. just say go search it on the internet like i did blah 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 you know that's what you tell me but, all the time 
Well, it's because you're a photographer. You should know it. I don't need to but, know nothing. Exactly. <laughs> um, but it's great to have that, that group out there if you're struggling um, and you're afraid to, to speak to people because sometimes people are just afraid to communicate with people, even if it is through an instant message. You know, sometimes it, it's hard to get the word out and it's, it's great to have a group that is willing to help you understand they've all been through what you've gone through, either it's processing or how do I take an image of something? You know, what's my ISO at, you know, how do I hook up equipment? I mean, everybody's gone through yeah. it in, in this community, male or female, you know, it's just, some people are just more afraid to talk to others about it because they're either afraid of the response. They're some, the person that's getting the email back, maybe just a, a, a booty. He may just be hateful or they may just be hateful, you know? Uh, so if you don't, if you get a chance to check out the group, we are Stella, please do not just for me, but just for them to get the word out who they are, what they represent. You know, it's a big, it's a very big thing here. And that's what I want to try to get them on more um, because they deserve the recognition that they need and that they, that they actually deserve uh, because we all do. I mean, we're all beginners. We all started somewhere and you know, it's time to break up, you know, get some more people on the show. I know we all have the same amount of people, the same well, once arounders, well, you know, well, just for my show. Experience my show. in stuff. Yeah. And the experience, it, like it, technical stuff. Also, you know, not just technical either. I mean, yeah. one of the things that I found to be the most interesting part of it was finding people and listening to their stories about how they got into it, what they did, how they've done it, and and exactly. the people that they're their little group, you know, the group that they have, and they're, you know, we've got everything has an has um, clicks, and I don't mm -hmm. think we need a click. I've always been trying to stop that. It doesn't matter. We're all human. We all does. Nobody deserves anything. We just all deserve to be nice to each other and <laughs> support the folks that are out there. And I, I, it's just the great thing to see younger people uh, in this, no matter what, no, no matter who they are, because honestly, a lot of these guys are really old. <laughs> I know he's not talking about me. I know he's not talking about me because I'm not that old. I had to do it. You know I did. I I'm know the comic did. relief around here. It's the comic sort of relief around here. So you're social media can't talk. Social media manager. So what what do you do for Stella in general? I mean, do you welcome new members or do you just control the the actual just the Instagram stuff? You know, what what do you do yeah. for that group well, particularly? So I uh, answer like the messages on the on our social media page. Basically, I post mm -hmm. all of the uh, new member posts that we have on there. Whenever we announce nice. a new member, I do that. Um, yeah, I post member stories and people who happen to tag Stella. I post their stories. Like mm -hmm. I don't yeah, want yeah, anybody yeah. to think that yeah. just that we only just post Stella members. Uh, as a story, like okay. you're more than welcome to tag Stella and we'll post it, you know, like it's totally fine. We'll share it as a story. <laughs> we just basically want to be like, show that we're welcoming to everybody. You know, it's not just for females. Like we're, we want to be able to have friends everywhere, you know? <laughs> Perfect. And that's the message that we all should try to go for. Um, whether yeah. in a group or individually, it, it's whatever. Uh, Three Sisters Astronomy says Lydia is a boss. Yes, Three Sisters Astronomy, I would have to agree. Um, so, yeah, if there's in, they also say anytime we meet any women, we push them over to Diana and Stella, an amazing group. Yes, uh, I'm hoping to get Diana on eventually. Um, I'm mm -hmm. wanting to get her as a, as a as the president and the other one, um, Sarah? Is, it, is that the yeah, other co-founder? Perfect. Yeah. And, but she's in, she's overseas, correct? She's in the UK? She's in Australia. Australia, way over there. Yeah. So 
the time difference, we'll have to figure that out. Um, she may, ha I hate to say it, she may have to come on on Saturday, which yeah, we'll have to see. I'll have to get with Diana and her, and see if they're they're willing to do that. That way they can go in a little bit more about Stella, what do they do as individuals um, for the group, and, you know, get to know them. Because that's what this whole show, like Paul said, is about, is getting to know the individual that is on. Um, because, I mean, Lydia, this is your first time. Um, I don't know if it's your first time doing kind of a broadcast type s thing, oh, yeah. um, but it's basically just to hear <laughs> about you and and what you actually do, um, whether it's yeah. astrophotography or with Stella. So what what are your plans in astrophotography? You know what what targets do you have in mind? Like right now, besides the bubble, I know the bubble has been in your heart <laughs> for many many the times. <laughs> I know, it's the bubble. Um, uh, you know where at? Go ahead. I've got a couple of targets in mind. Like I'm hoping that this summer is good to us so I can actually get the Milky mm -hmm. Way again this time because I've only been able to get it that one time. Um, I want to get the Lagoon and Triffid, probably with my oh, wide nice. field. Yeah. Yes. That'll be good. Uh, I wanna uh, I wanna do Andromeda Justice, you know, <laughs> like I wanna <laughs> I have <laughs> goals. <laughs> oh yeah, with your sixty two hundred, right? What you're going, you got your yeah. stuff going. One day, yeah. one day, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you meant 26. Um, Lucy McLeod said, goal. He, his goal is to be the first human to shoot a non-shaking video of a UFO. There you That's go. A goal to have, Frederick. I feel like that could, uh, like you can do that. <laughs> uh, Lucy McLeod uh, says, as a woman who is due to the astronomy community, I am psyched to know that there is a group that to know that this group exists it is empowering when women get together and do great things so see you guys are already even within the group or the chat you're already inspiring others to join um so i mean that's i, I mean that again that's the message that you guys are wanting to spread i hope that we can continue to have you guys on here more to keep spreading that uh, that message around uh, for the women of astrophotographers because um, I know I believe some of your members are Molly Wakeling um, yep. That's really the only one I know well besides you and Diana and Sarah Flo, uh, the sisters um, Yeah, there's a bunch of y'all We got Helena. She's she's got in our Helena. group got, got we Helena. Have got Helena. Stacy is in our group um, We have Quite a quite a few people. Like we um, we've got a lot actually. And one yeah, thing I, I do know. want to say as well is even if you're not comfortable, like if you're a woman or whatnot, and you're not comfortable with being in a group, you can always just message us, and we'll still help you out with like equipment or like how to how to do things. Like it's it's totally fine. You don't have to be in the group yeah. to get the help that you want. We just want to make it. Make you feel Power's that you can. <laughs> Power's on. Glad that light works. God, I can see his bulbs now. Um, so that's great that you're you're able to. I mean, you can join the group if you want, but if you're a little timid about pop or asking questions, that's the beauty thing. You guys almost you basically have an open door policy. You can yeah. just message whoever. Um, that's that's impressive. It really is. Not a whole lot of groups around anymore have open door policies to that extent. Um, you usually have to go through a whole lot of chains to get to what you're wanting to do. Um, so that's cool. That's honestly, that's a great thing um, to have in a group uh, because you guys are actually a decent sized group. Mm -hmm. Now I need to figure out how many followers, or not followers, but how many, which I need to get with Diana and Sarah and figure out how many individuals that you have in your group that are just your group. Um, not as, yeah. as followers or anything of the sort. Um, but that's awesome. It's really awesome. So you got an Exos 2 with PMC-8. You got the ASI Air. Um, mm -hmm. you, got, uh, you got the Radian Raptor. You got your DSLR. Which which DSLR? You never – you said you had oh, one, but uh, you never – Canon, Sony, Nikon. Which one? Yeah, so I use the Nikon D5600. That's the one. Oh, nice. That's a good camera. That's yeah. a very good camera. You Kit lenses on those that come with it, which I think is what, it's an eighteen to fifty, and then a uh, seventy to two hundred, I think. Yeah, it's seventy to three hundred, but yeah, that's those are the kit lens. Those are the ones that nice. I that I was using. 
But I did eventually sell the kit lenses, and then I bought like just regular like prime lenses yeah, for it. Prime lenses, perfect, perfect. How do you like in the Rokinon um, fourteen? I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites to use. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna have to. I think. I, what do I have? I have the. Well, uh, the. Oh, which one is it? It's a 28 millimeter or 24. I think it is the Rokinon one. I need to. Yeah, it's the Rokinon. Thanks, Paul. Um, it was a two point. I think it's a two point eight. Steal it from or, here. No, because <laughs> it's better than here. I don't. Think um, so. it's a 1.4. It's better. This is um, 1.5. Yep, see, there you go. I have a 1.4. Mine's better. But it's so also different. I'm going to bring it over there. I'm just going to show you right now. <laughs> right now. He's going to bring me a lens right now. That's what he does. So what do you – how is processing been? How, I mean, what kind of programs do you use as far as stacking or – Oh, that's a cinema lens. Yes, it's a cinema lens. Oh, well, that's eh, – Processing not, is different. It's it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> not the same. Okay. Anyway, so what kind of software did you do? You, did you start out with? You know, what have you migrated to? What have the girls from Stella helped you migrate to? You know, give us some a little bit of that. Um, as far as pro I love processing, like that is like the one thing that I can do like all mm -hmm. night and I'll enjoy it. Basically, yeah, I'll give you some of my data <laughs> then. Mm, I will. I, like I will totally process it. Like that's that's what I did. <laughs> I was actually getting like my own data is I was actually yeah. getting data from others so I can get used to the idea of processing and figuring out how to do it. Um, yeah. I was using Photoshop for a while there, but then I migrated over to PixInsight. That's my go-to basically for so processing. Going, so, basic, so basically we're going to have to set up a meeting time, just you and me, and then you got to give me the rundown because that, that thing just literally – blows my brain every I, time I even open it up. I love it. I bought like a book on it to like, so I, I mm -hmm. research everything basically. So I bought like a book yeah. on learning everything. I watch tons of YouTube videos. Like I just try to figure out my own way before cool. I try to like ask for help with things. But yeah, so PixInsight is my go-to. I stack in Deep Sky Stacker though, because it's too Why confusing. <laughs> It's too but confusing. W, so weighted, oh, what is it? It's WBPP, so weighted batch pre-processing. Actually, you need to check that tool out because it is very, very handy. Um, it literally oh. walks you through it step by step. It really does. I'll, if it, I'll try it. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm a person of routine. I will say, I'll be the first uh, one to say yeah. it. Person of routine. Deep Sky Stacker but, has been my go been good to me it hasn't like strayed me hasn't yet, me astray <laughs> yet. Hasn't yeah. me astray yet. Uh, the, the one thing that I noticed with deep sky stacker compared to pixel site is I could take the same data doesn't matter what it is and deep sky stacker will spit it out five different five different ways compared to pixels mm -hmm. that was one of my main issues um, still made great data but it, something would always be different in each individual stacked frame um, that's yeah. why I jumped to pick the site and man, that's a big jump. Yeah, I didn't think there was deeper water, but you get into pick the site. That's deep water. Uh, oh, I love there's it. just so, so much to learn. So much to learn. So maybe it. you need to put on some classes. <laughs> <laughs> I can, yeah, when you have, I love it. It's, it's my go-to yeah. every time I get data and I come out and do like a little, quick little processing to see how good my data is and then yeah cool. basically I, I actually have i'm shooting um well I've, I've shown you guys when we had our meeting last week mm -hmm. the elephant strong just finally got done with the ha data so i want to send you all of that see what you can do with it um i'm also working on the um, eastern veil i'm gonna do mm -hmm. i'm sorry the western veil which is broom and then i'm gonna do the pickering's triangle and the Eastern Vale with the 127 that I have. Um, I need to get yep. set up for wide field because I want to get that whole veil, uh, the veil nebula in one shot. Um, I just don't have the camera for it yet. Um, I'd have to set up a mosaic, and I have no idea how to do a mosaic. <laughs> See, folks, yeah, I, don't I don't know how to do, do hardly anything on that. No. Uh, you know, 
Photoshop mm -hmm. master sitting in here. You finish your photos, hand them to me. I can show you how to do it in Photoshop. That's Photoshop. I yeah. want to know how to do it in Master if you, Pixinsight. You can finish the photos in Pixinsight, and then mm. we can attach them in Photoshop. It's simple. Miss, uh, I know I'm going to butcher this name. Sheena? It says mosaics are easy. Well, we need to have you on here so you can put on a class because I don't. I have never. I haven't experimented with it yet. I haven't messed with it. I haven't done it. They scare me. They honestly scare me. I'm afraid that my the frames aren't going to match up in, in Photoshop or Pixinsight, and it's going to throw everything off, and I'm going to be very upset because that's going to take a lot of time to do all that stuff. But I'll I'll get with Lydia. Lydia is the expert. I was actually what? considering doing like a mosaic of M31 mm -hmm. with the yes. uh, Newtonian because I'm pretty sure we can mm -hmm. I can get a lot of good data with it and then do a mosaic on it. That's that's also a goal of mine that I'm going to try to do. <laughs> so do you, we'll see. So you have the 2600. Do you, so I'm assuming it's one shot color because everybody in that group yep. hates mono for some reason. I haven't figured out why yet. Um, <laughs> You have the L Enhancer L Extreme by chance? I have the two L Extreme. Filter. Yeah, so the two inch filter. A, a, so if you're going to do a mosaic, here's a high, here's, and I have here's the something that I think you should. And you have the L Pro? Perfect. So here's something that I think you could try because um, I had a buddy that did the same thing. Um, he did a mosaic of Andromeda's Galaxy. Now, what he did was his is, of course, in mono, but still the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, use the hydrogen or the, the L stream on Andromeda's galaxy. You're like, why? Why do I want to do that? There's actually a lot of hydrogen alpha within M31. Take, I don't know, 60 frames at a, what, 100, I don't know what your Bortle sky is. We'll say 180 seconds and just get what you can and you will be amazed how much red is actually in the arms of those galaxies and just pop. And it will take your whole m31 to the next level in my opinion because if you can pull out the dark nebulae in the arms all the hydrogen alpha and not completely mm -hmm. blow out the core holy moly man that will literally literally take your game to the next level on that but it requires more yeah. processing but um especially in the photos or the pics and site realm because um, you got to knock you got to do the layers and all that or the channels mm -hmm. and all that stuff um, try that out. Yeah. See what you might get out of it. My goal, what I plan on doing, because I shoot through uh, Bortle 7, Bortle 8, so it's pretty so light looted. Almost so, the same. We're almost the same. Yeah. So I try to, my goal is to use the L Pro to get as much data as I can and then use the L Extreme yep. to get the other portion and then put him together. Basically, that's my goal that I'm going to try to do. Frames, how many frames are you going to try to go for? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't have a yard, so I go to my parents' house to yep. image. Uh, one day, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a yard one day. But um, So I go, to, I go over there, and that's why I don't have mono, because I don't have the time to do all that, like to just do it all night. I don't have the time. It, is, it, is, it is very time-consuming, but I'm telling you, once one you day, one, change. It changes not everything. Time. I swear. It changes. Yeah. <laughs> it changes I'm everything. pretty sure you it will. Try one. If you want to try one, just reach out and I'll let you borrow one of mine because I have three. <laughs> if you just want to try it. I don't, um, I don't know. I've, it I've, hurt. Processed, I've processed mono data and I've put it together yeah. and brought it to RGB. So I've done it before. It's just I don't have a lot of experience. I shoot with one shot color all the time. You're so. fixing to because I'm fixing to unload a bunch of data just to your way. <laughs> I could do you it. Can you can, if you want to mess with the rosette, I got the rosette. Uh, I got Merlot 15. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Try living in Scotland. I would love to visit Scotland. <laughs> I don't know about living there, but I'd yeah. like to visit. Sure. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that's – I'm glad you were able to, to find time in your busy schedule, Lydia, to come on and, you mm -hmm. know, discuss what you do as an astrophotographer, what, you know, what you do for We Are Stella. So, I mean, do you have any closing remarks? Do you have anything that you want to say to the to the people that are watching, um, just about you or the group or anything before we kick off, and then I can go home. 
and do stuff? <laughs> um, I don't know. Just like, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to, like they can't ask us anything. Like you can always ask us things. Mm -hmm. You can message me personally and I'll try to help you as best I can. You know, like it's totally fine for, I am an open book and I will, I, if you're struggling, trust me, I've been struggling. Like, <laughs> that's how I look at it. Like, polar alignment well, is the bane of my it. So, <laughs> even with the, yeah. <laughs> the ASI Air polar aligns, though. Well, yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, just in general, like before uh, I got the ASI Air, like, oh, polar alignment was mm. the bane of my existence, you know? Like, I struggled yeah, all I the did. time. So, it's totally fine. I get it. And even then with the ASI Air, um, it doesn't take me as long, but you know, it still mm -hmm. takes some time. Fine. It's not yeah. something that I'm going to rage over anymore, but yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. We don't want that. We don't want rage. No raging. Either, no. no, it's no all raging. expensive equipment. I can't rage. It is very expensive <laughs> equipment. That is very true. <laughs> uh, but again, Lydia, I really appreciate you coming, uh, you coming on, um, mm -hmm. giving us a little bit about yourself. I hope we get to have you on later or uh, next time. Um, but guys, make sure you go to either Lydia's Instagram page. I'll see if Paul can bring it up real quick um, so you can see it. Um, and the same with We Are Stella. Please go follow them. Go hang out. Mm -hmm. You know, see what these girls can do. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're open to all females, non-binary. And that's, a, that's amazing. Uh, it really is because mm -hmm. we need more people like this in the community. Um, that are just caring and wanting to help out individuals that may be timid or scared or just don't know where to turn to, you know, some, I mean, especially in a male dominated area, uh, but there are groups out there. I mean, obviously they're right here. Uh, I'm speaking to one of them. So don't, don't be too timid because um, you don't know what you might miss. Um, these girls are, they're great to deal with uh, from the ones that I've talked to. They they'll they literally will help you no matter what issues you're having. Ladies, ladies, mm -hmm. Tyler, sorry, ladies. sorry, sorry, <laughs> I forgot. I apologize. Connor Bradley, uh, with my F9 Bresser Acromat, would it give good results with minimal chromatic aberration due to the long focal length better than shorter acros? Uh, Connor, it depends on what you're looking at. Depends on your light pollution, but you will have chromatic aberration. Uh, if you want to cut down on some of the chromatic aberration, what filter, what filter? I believe a UVIR filter, if you screwed on the end of the nose piece um, or the end of the diagonal, if it has that ability to have a thread on filter, use a UVIR cut. Um, that'll help a little bit, but you're still going to have chromatic aberration. I mean, it, it's a doublet. It's, it's going to be there. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you can yeah. visually, it's going to be there. If you have a monochrome setup and you want to take pictures with it, you can process it out. But it's, I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, ma'am. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, it's just one of those things that cannot be avoided. Um, but as far as if it's better with longer focal length versus shorter focal length, I honestly do not know that answer. Um, I would imagine it doesn't have any difference if it's short or long focal length. It's just chromatic aberration and it's there, unfortunately. Sorry, I meant for imaging. Yeah, if, you, if you're doing it for imaging, try a UVIR cut filter. They're fairly inexpensive. Um, <laughs> if you're doing one-shot color uh, or if you're doing a monochrome setup, just do monochrome, and then eventually it'll process out. Uh, you can process it out on its own. Um, just one of those obstacles that you got to get over, buddy. Um, if you need any help, you have my Facebook unfortunately, so you can definitely message me and I'll help you out in any way I can. If you have data that you want me to look at, I can look at it. I mean, that's that, again, we're a family here. doesn't matter what you are or who you are. We're a family and we're going to make sure that we get you taken care of as one um, because that's my goal is to treat everybody like family. I love my family. I always take care of my family because uh, that's what I do. So that's, I think that's it. Lydia, do you have anything? Are you fixed? Are you gonna go imaging right now? Are you gonna go set up? Uh, so it's cloudy, but tomorrow I think it's supposed to be clear. I'm hoping that it stays clear. So that's yeah. the plan. Tomorrow I'm gonna I want to try the Newtonian out. So Ooh, that's I'm excited. I get pictures, it. <laughs> pictures, please. That way, if we get you on next time, you can kind of show us what's going on, how it happened, how what worked, what didn't work, 
And then if you need anything, don't hesitate to call. You have my number um, so I can help you hook up the EAF. Or you can reach out to Stella. Maybe they can help you. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But guys, again, I appreciate you tuning in and hanging out with me and uh, Lydia, who's a part of We Are Stella. Hope to have her back on later um, and other group members as well uh, to just get to know their side of the story. Um, but again, my name is Tyler with Explore Scientific. Thank you for tuning in on Focus on Astrophotography. Today is Friday, the 15th, 2022. I have to do that every time because Paul told me to, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys have fun. At the beginning to let people that know that it's live. Whatever. But then you have to watch the whole thing to find out. Okay. That's the thing. Yeah, well, you guys take care. See you all later. See ya. Thank you.